we're going to start with a very complicated mother-daughter relationship between Nancy Reagan and her outspoken, often controversial daughter, Patty Davis. Our top story, can the Reagan family conflict finally rest in peace? Much has been said that your mother couldn't wait to be reunited with your father. She told me once that she, she was not afraid to die. She said, I don't want it to hurt. When I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid to die, I'll see Ronnie again. Yes, America had lost a former first lady, but I lost my mother, and I'm happy for her that she is, that she's with my father now. As Mrs. Reagan lies in repose, her funeral tomorrow, Patty is speaking out in a Today interview shot yesterday after she was at her mother's prayer service. Anything left unsaid, or did you get everything out? Did she get everything out? I think so, but I get now why I behaved the way I did and why I acted out in the way I did and wrote things that I wish I could remove from the face of the earth, but I can't. That acting out could be called a mother's worst nightmare. You see, the backstory is that Mrs. Reagan was already pregnant with Patty when she and the president said, I do. Patty looked at her as sort of a mommy dearest. She once wrote that Mrs. Reagan hit her. By 15, the White House daughter smoked marijuana and had an addiction to diet pills almost to spite her Just Say No Mom. Patty's rebellion continued when, at 42 years old, she posed for Playboy. E.T. was on set for the photo shoot. People have seen me blow it. People have seen me do good work. It's what I was born into. There has been so much written about this incredible love yeah. story and that everybody else really was outside mm -hmm. the two of them. Did mm -hmm. you feel like that as children? Oh, very aware of it. The feeling was sort of like if a band of gypsies came and, and took me and Ron away, they would miss us, <laughs> but they'd be fine. <laughs> Patty will deliver tomorrow's eulogy along with her brother Ron. And showing she's finally made peace, Patty posted a moving tribute on Time.com, telling of Mrs. Reagan's final days. Patty reveals that Mrs. Reagan would keep the TV on all the time, the volume turned high, just so she would feel less alone. You know, my parents were sort of two halves of, the, of a circle, and they kind of completed one another. Where I came to in my life and with her was to be really happy for her that she had this great love in her life. Of course, we'll be in Simi Valley tomorrow for the service, and we'll have cameras inside. We will talk to the famous faces who are expected to attend. Included on that list are First Ladies Rosalind Carter, Laura Bush, Hillary Clinton, and Michelle Obama.